Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your subscription and likes are always motivating us. So if you have any tips in this video, you can be able to comment in the sections. Or else you can be able to join us in the Instagram page and ask your tips. The Instagram link is in the video description. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about fundamentals of entomology. I am going to cover the Thysanoptera. So the name which comes from the for these insects in this order or they use it to have fringed wings so the thyson which means the fringes as well as the terra which is wings so the common names of these group of insects are thrips while seeing about the characteristics of these order insects in thysanoptera so they are said to be minute slender as well as the soft body insects their mouth parts are said to be used for rasping as well as the sucking of sand from the plant cells so the mouth cone is said to be formed by a labrum as well as the labium together with the bas basal segments of maxillae in this insect. So there are said to be around three stylets which are derived from two maxillae as well as one mandible which is the left mandible, mandible of the insects. And while the right mandible is said to be absent in these groups of insects, hence the mouth parts are said to be asymmetrical in nature. And while seeing them in the wing, wings, so wings are said to be either absent or long, and they use it to have narrow and fringed with hairs, which increases the surface area of these insects. So it's how they use it to have the bigger wings due to the presence of hairs like a fringed ones. So they are said to be weak flyers as well as the passive flight in the wind is said to be common by these insects. So tarsus is said to be one or two segmented at the apex of each tarsus there is a prostable vesicle which is said to be present under the abdomen it is often pointed as a appendicular oviposition may be present or absent in these groups of insects so while seeing about the life cycle of these group of insects so the nimble stage is said to be followed by the pre-pupal as well as the pupal stage so which are said to be analogous to the pupa of endoterrified insects so the stage it's how means the first stage is to be egg and the first and second instar is to be done and the pro pupa as well as the pupal stage is said to be found in this group of insects. So they are said to be live beneath the leaf litter or else in the soil and after that the adult is said to be emerged from the pupa and the new cycle is said to be produced in this group of insects. And the order is said to be subdivided into two orders. So they are said to be known as the terebranchia as well as tubulifera. So the difference between them, the female is said to be appendicularly oposter and the abdomen is end is not like a tube-like structure in this one and the wing unation is said to be present and the import family in terebantia suborder is thripidae as well as while seeing in the tubulifera, the oposter is said to be absent and the abdomen end is said to be tubular-like one. So in which the terebantia, the arch have to be in not a tube-like one but in tubulifera it is said to be a tube like one and the wing venation is said to be absent so these are the common difference in these two suborders after seeing the importance of these insects they are said to be mainly belong to the family thripidae and are always said to be known as the phytophagus so which are used to live in this environment by sucking the plant saps so they are said to be only dependent on the plant organisms and they are also some of the vector of few diseases and few are predicted thrips. So example stenkater thrips uh, which is a pest in rice as well as the rice nursery and uh, after that we are going to see about the order scope terra. So while seeing the etymology of this name uh, so soco which is said to be a rubs moth and the terra which is wings also you can able to also classify these as socus which is dust like as well as the socus which is nabbed or rubbed. So their common names are said to be book lice, bark lice, as well as the dirt lice. So while seeing from the name of these order group of animals, so they are said to be known as the minute one. We can able to understand these ones with these names from the Scopoptera order. So these are the uh, diagrammatic images of the winged adults as well as the wingless adults. Um, and I have also given the picture of the nymph in this one. So while seeing the characteristics, they are said to be minor, soft body and the head is said to be distinct with Y-shaped epicranial suture on the head and the clypus is said to be swollen one 
and the mouth parts are used for only biting as well as the chewing type or said to be present in the scope of insect and the mandibles are with said to be developed with molar and incisor areas and lacina is said to be a rod like which is used for picking and which is partially sunken into the head capsule and the legs are said to be slender and wings may be present or absent so four wings are said to be larger than the high wings and the wings are said to be held roof like or uh, said to be present over the abdomen and the set C is said to be absent in these group of insects so the so pockets which are said to be frequently gregarious so they are said to be a more amount of feeders so on some concutes have used to be have the able to spin silk around them and the dorsal pair of labial glands are said to be modified into silk glands in this particular scopids so and the importance of these group of order in fact they are said to be commonly found as book claws which is said to be known as the liposal species and they feed on the pap uh, paper paste of the book binding as well as the fragments of animal and vegetable matter and stored products they also used to damage the dry preserve insect herbarium as well as the herbarium specimens which are said to be located in our box so i have given the lecture notes in the description if you have any doubt please comment in the section or else join us in the instagram page and ask your doubts so if you like the video and like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch you up in next videos